Okay. <laughs> oh, this is just like the topic. Maybe kind of a little bit clex. Okay, here we go. Center. Uh, go. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Essential Presents. So, uh, we are in the time of year, at least I'm recording this in the time of year, where it's kind of the middle to end of summer. I mean, depending on when you actually measure summer, I guess. Um, but the middle of July in our diocese is where priests make their transitions from whatever parish. If they have a new assignment, they go from the old parish to the new parish. Also, I have so many students who are in this time of the graduated and now they're looking for jobs. Or, um, you know, they had a job, and a lot of times summer is a time of transition. And one of the things about those transitions, right, from maybe a brother priest of mine going from one parish to another, uh, someone going from being student to now being the master, no, but the student to being, you know, an employee or somewhere, or from one job to another job, there is this thing called transition, right? And uh, there's, there's thing, <laughs> I remember one of, our, one of our missionaries once phrased it like this, that she said that um, change happens to us. Transition, Transition is something we cooperate with, something like that. I'm probably butchering what she meant to say, but change is something that is unavoidable, right? Change is something that occurs to us even if we don't want it to happen. The ability to make a transition, right, to, to actually engage with that change, to make the transition from one place or one thing, from being in one state to another, involves our cooperation, involves, requires our participa participation, if that makes any sense. So when people go from priests well, from one parish to another, when people go from being students to being employees, if they go from one job to another job or any kind of situation in life, any state in life that involves this change, the question is, am I going to transition? And one of the elements of transitioning well is saying goodbye well. And so that's a, a thing that I probably talk about here quite a bit when it comes to our students is, okay, just take the opportunity, use the chance, take the time, all those things to say goodbye well which is something I, I sometimes struggle with. It's not necessarily because um, like I don't like goodbyes or because I'm uncomfortable or I'm too sad. Usually it's because I don't have the words. I don't have the words that can honor this person. I don't have the words that can honor that relationship, you know? And so I just like feel inadequate, but saying goodbye well is super important. Ending well is very important, but ending is only part of transition. There's also that middle piece, which is also very important to talk about. What I want to talk about is the beginning. Right? Because maybe you've gone through this. Maybe you had that, like, yep, I said goodbye. I uh, did all those things, wrapped that up, you know, moved out of town or, or went to a new place or here I am, moved into my new cubicle or whatever the thing is. Maybe you got married. Maybe, maybe you got ordained. And like that sense of, okay, left that vocation, said goodbye to that state of life. And now I'm, I maybe even made it past the middle part, the, the, the coupling right between the ending and the beginning. And now you're beginning and it stinks. <laughs> I talk about that. Sometimes people say that goodbyes that stink. Michael Scott's one of them. Some people say that endings are the worst. They can be difficult, obviously. I would maintain that beginnings are often harder. The beginnings are often more difficult than the endings. Endings, I mean, yes, absolutely. There can be grief that comes along with this. There can be, there can be a real sense of loss that comes along with endings. But oftentimes there's also a sense of relief, right? You know, often there's sometimes a sense of like, hey, I accomplished that thing. So I got done with school, graduated. I got done with basic training, done. I, I, I'm now not single anymore. I'm now married, whatever. That's, that's like, there's, a, there's a, a sense of, yeah, I'm letting go. There's a sense of loss, but there's also this sense of relief. That's that, right, that it's in there. That's mission accomplished. Also the excitement of looking forward to the next step, the excitement of looking forward to the beginning. But the beginning itself can often be so challenging that it's even more difficult than the ending. What do I mean? Well, think about any time you've had to start some new phase in your life. Everything is unknown, right? I, I don't have my bearings. Um, I don't know who people are. Who do I need to know in just the sense of like <laughs> to get by in this job? The skills that are required of you oftentimes or required of us. Oftentimes, we haven't developed them yet. I mean, we maybe had training when it comes to the college students or high school students who now are in the workforce. Maybe we had training, and that training might have prepared me, but they prepare me for what? They prepare me to begin life in this career or in this occupation. But they didn't necessarily, it wasn't like I could jump right in and say, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing, right? So we have all these things. In, in the beginnings, it's all new. The people are new, the environment is new, the pace of life is new, the skills that are required are new. And again, as I said, I don't have my bearings yet. And yet, I have to show up. 
and yet I have to show up and say, okay, this is life now and it can be so daunting in so many ways. What's one way? Well, not only all the things I just mentioned that everything's new and you don't, it's, it's unknown, but also um, it's often difficult to be a beginner. It's often difficult to go from one place where like actually I knew what I was doing to I don't really truly know what I'm doing. I go to go to a place from a place where I know all the people to I, I don't know anyone here. To go from a place of at least I know my schedule to I am just learning my schedule. There's a challenge there where everything's new. It's kind of like this. Think back to your first time driving. First time driving, you're in a vehicle and it's just like all the stimulus, like right, all the information is coming in and you don't know how to filter it. Like, okay, the sounds, the sights, like, does that, is that important? Am I looking over there? Should I look back? I can't see the rear view mirrors. Like all those things, all the stimulus, because you don't know where to look. You don't know what to listen for because you don't know how to filter it yet. You don't know what's important, what's not important. Imagine that, but just all day, every day, for weeks, maybe months, <laughs> as opposed to now when you're driving and you're able to say, okay, I know where I need to look. I'm going to be aware, right? Be safe drivers, cautious drivers, but you know what matters and what doesn't matter. In order to be a good driver, we've learned that. And then you can just relax. Like I can enjoy driving now. Same kind of thing when it comes to whatever that new phase, that new stage. The beginnings are so difficult, so tough that sometimes people say, did I make the wrong choice? So difficult that people sometimes say, maybe I, maybe I, I did the wrong thing. Maybe I'm in the wrong occupation. Maybe I, I took the wrong next step. Now, here's the thing. Maybe you did, because that's possible, right? That's, that's really possible. And you might even find yourself in a place that's not just difficult, not just challenging, but actually this is toxic and destructive. That's such a thing, right? You might be in a new environment that is not just <laughs> um, purifying you, but a new environment that actually is poisoning you. That's important to make that distinction. Sometimes we can tell right away and sometimes we can't tell, but we need to just be aware. Is this purifying me or is this poisoning me? Is, is this simply difficult or is this destructive? That question needs to be asked and ought to be answered. But barring that, barring a toxic or destructive environment or people around you, it could simply be, this is a purifying moment. This is a difficult challenge. And in that case, here's my invitation. Be patient. Be patient. Um, you. You may have never been here before, but you might have been in a situation like this before where everything was new. You were just a beginner and things were expected of you that you didn't know how to deliver. Be patient with yourself. And what I mean by be patient with yourself is don't freak out, A. B, don't run away. And C, let yourself be a beginner. Like what I mean by that is sometimes you get hired. Sometimes you're in a new place. And people are looking to you to have answers. But all you have is hard questions. You have permission, at least I'm giving you permission. You have permission to be a beginner. Because beginners ask questions. Beginners don't know automatically. Beginners make mistakes. Beginners get to look to other people for help. Experts, they have to know all the answers. Experts can't make mistakes. Experts, you know, only need themselves, right? We say that, it's not true. Let yourself be a beginner, which is not only be patient, is not only don't freak out, but is ask for help. Let people know that, no, I'm just learning. Let people know that, I mean, the people, the right people, right? How do you know who they are? Another, another chapter in this book, I guess. But let, let yourself have permission to be a beginner. Because we're patient with beginners. I mean, think about this. If you were the new person, Sorry, you are the new person. If there was someone you cared about who was the new person uh, and they asked you a question, you'd say, of course, I'd be happy to help you. Why? Because you're the new person. You're just, you're just getting used to this. But it's been a month already. Listen, a big life change takes more than just a month to feel at home, to feel like, okay, I've, I've taken the right next step. So to all my friends out there who are beginning, and you experience this beginning as a challenge, this beginning as, as, as a real difficulty. Take heart, you're not alone. But be patient with yourself and let yourself have permission to be a beginner, to ask questions, to make mistakes, 
to need help? And no, I know this. The last place you left, that was a sad goodbye maybe. Because why? Because it was home. Because it was familiar. Because it was something that like I was passionate about. You started off as a beginner there too. You've done this before. You know what it's like. Be patient. Don't freak out. But just know that the Lord is using this right now. He's using this right now. Not in a year from now. Not in two years from now. He's using this right now to purify your heart. To invite you to lean in more deeply and more closely to his heart. And to invite him into the beginning. Anyway, um, that's what I got to say. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.